Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Well, we've got a brand new family we're covering. It's been a while. I didn't have really much to talk about. Um, and I'm looking, I've had some people kind of on the back burner. And whenever there's like a big lull, not like there's a huge lull because we got the calling Ballinger shit going on, but I can't do a video about it every day. And uh, Alicia's just only shopping, but I'll, of course I'll still snark on her. But when we have these lulls, I kind of go to my back burner, like the back bench, and I see these people that I've wanted to talk about for a little while, and then I finally dig in. And today it's gonna be the shitbirds. I mean, the Herberts. Basically, I think his name is Abby Herbert, something like that. And uh, it's the Abby Herbert show. And her assistant to the assistant manager, short husband, I don't even know his name because it's the Abby Herbert show. That's what it's so far. I've seen that and I'm blind reacting to a video they did. I haven't even seen it and I even press play on it yet. And we're going to head over to their snark forum because that's a great place to get information like this. And we're going to take a look at our channel and what it's all about. And we're going to make fun of them because people have told me time and time again, they are really, really snarkable. And you know what I say about people like that? I say, let's snark. Let's go. To start this all off, what really got me going was somebody posted this, sent this to me on Instagram. They said, you gotta take a look at this. And again, I know who Abby Herbert is. I've been following them and leave negative comments on their shit all the time, but I haven't really, really dug, dug deep. Until this video really, really got me because if you watch it with me, I need you to watch it together. We'll watch it all together. And then we're gonna watch it again in slow motion or break it down. This totally was on purpose and it gives me the ick. Oh, that's what someone else wrote. So this is her TikTok that she deleted. P POV, you're the one friend that always gets hurt. Now she's talking about her child as if it's a friend because this is a working relationship, not a parent relationship. Okay, now let's break that down again. So right here, watch, she's got this like stringy thing. It's got like a sticky thing on the end. You get them, I don't know where you get them, but they're like, my kids have a hundred of them and they, they're lost under the couch. And then when you go into the couch, they're full of shit. They're garbage after that basically, right? But watch, she looks, she looks at her. So she swings it and just misses her, but she's looking at her daughter, right? Watch, and smack right in the face. This was on purpose. She did this on purpose because these types of people, they do prank videos and do all these, they think they're comedians and they're really, really not, okay? There, it's very rare that you find people who are actually funny in their videos. There are, there's a couple, there are a few, I'll give them that. The, what are they called? The, I covered them during the fricking PPP scandal thing. I forget their name. But they're actually, they're not too bad. They're pretty funny, actually. I forgot the name. The guy has blue hair now. He looks like an idiot. Besides the blue hair, they actually do create funny stuff. These people are not funny, right? And basically, I've been following her for a little while. When you, everything is about her husband being short, basically. Like she is, the, she's the biggest narcissist. She's like Jess fam. Like it's the, it's the, it's the Abby Herbert show. Again, I don't know his name. That's how crazy it is. And it's always about how short he is and everything else. It's almost like he's got a hang up that he's short. And so they joke about it a lot. It's like when you got to say the thing, not the thing type of thing. Basically, he's a Dollarama Michael J. Fox. That's what he is. But we're going to look at him in a second. So that really got me because she posted that, then deleted it. And now why did she delete it? Because she knew it was wrong. It was getting tons of shares and likes. She hit her kid on purpose. And we can see with our eyes that she hit her kid on purpose because it's going to get her views, right? And she, she, why, why else would you post this, right? Why, what are you recording it for? You're swinging this thing around, you're gonna hit your kid in the eye for a video. If you're the type of person that can hurt your child on purpose for a TikTok video, I think that you're a piece of shit. Like straight up, there's nowhere, there's no way else to say it. You're a piece of flaming garbage, okay? Abby Herbert, you're a douche. Then she posted this and I was like, they all do this to some degree. I don't know anything about her, but this is in the handbook, right? Page 255. Why don't you see your, why don't we see your parents, right? Because they share everything else online. They probably shared her vag online when she birthed a baby. I don't even know. We're going to look in a minute. When we are with family and friends, we don't film. I can't imagine basing content around them. We don't want to be, we don't want to use other people for content. We like to keep it just as much as we can. Just us as much as we can. Obviously, with videos like the gender reveal, we asked everyone they felt comfortable filming because we put ourselves online, but not our family or friends. My dad barely knows what Wi-Fi is, so he's an absolute no when it comes to posting on social media. That's a smart dude. My mom has been in a few videos, but we like to keep it just us. 
Abby. She means to say just me. It's me. It's about me. Um, but the irony of this comment is so funny because her children are cannot consent to be on the internet. And they have been birthed on the internet, as far as I'm aware, I think. Right? Again, I don't know anything. I'm diving into this with you guys. And so I know what I know by what I've seen. And so she's like, we don't feel comfortable. You know, they have their privacy, but your children don't get their privacy. And the reason that that's such a big deal is because of videos like I did, like 10 things I hate about family vlogging, right? Or go watch my Just Fam one about the AI. It is so dangerous to put your children on the internet or let them be on the internet and everybody knows it. And there are laws being made. There's things being put in place that are trying to protect kids. Not going far enough in my opinion, but it is so dangerous to have your kids grow up on the internet. We all know and family vloggers know that exploiting children is wrong. Everybody says it. And the, the people who are commenting on it and saying it on their channels is growing by the day. Everybody knows it's wrong. And so when you give your family privacy, but not your children who cannot consent, that says a lot. So you'll give privacy to the people who say, I don't want to be on it. They can consent to not being on it. And so you don't put them on it, but you force your kids to be in your content and you make money on it. Abby Herbert, reason number two, why you're douche mom of the day. Congrats. Congrats. Another reason that you should not like these people is because their shit is so bad. What's the video I saw? I'm going to look for it. I guess they call him short King. Is that what they call him? Trying this trend with a short king and pregnant. What trend? See, I'm crying. Poor Josh. Poor oh, his name's Josh. Why are they all named Josh? F off, man. There are a lot of petty betties on this platform, on the Abby Herbert snarf form, like a lot of petty betties. And I'm here for it. You petty betties are my favorite. I, that's because I'm a petty betty, right? And then some of them are like, does anybody just know that she's just, she's, I hate her? <laughs> I, just, I love it. The petty snark is the good stuff, right? It's not, you don't dig too deep with it. You're just saying a snide remark because she deserves it because she's a child exploder, right? And I love it. The, the, I, I've been on a lot of snark forums. This one is a lot of petty betties. And you girls, you go girls. And here's another thing. Like these people do content for a living. They live online. They're chronically online. And they're like, let's do this trend. And she's like, prank on my husband who's afraid of everything. The, the issue I have with these types of people is that the shit is so bad and they're such bad actors. It's so easy to see that it's a lie. And you're just, ugh. Watch this. Prank on my husband who is afraid of everything. <laughs> is he afraid of a filter on Snapchat, is he? Look, if you don't want to be made fun of for being short and wimpy, maybe you don't be short and wimpy, dude, okay? Cool? All right, just just want to say that out loud because you look like a douche, okay? Your kids are going to see this later and they're going to be made fun of. Okay, you're a beta. We get it. This guy can't even barbecue. For sure. He probably drives a big-ass truck, though. He can't even golf properly. This guy can't even hit 150 yards with a driver. This guy doesn't have a man card. He, he has a dad card by default, but he's not allowed to use it. Do you know what I mean? He... <laughs> Guarantee you he vacuums the whole house. He does all the cleaning and shit like that, right? Probably cleans the toilet and everything. And there's nothing wrong with that. Just saying. Keeps calling him Short King or Poor Josh. Or I got, If you read the snark form, if you watch their stuff, you will see that it's really all about that they have this thing and they're just latching onto it that he's short. We get it, dude. You're short. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> Stupid, man. So I asked a question. I said, uh, you know, in your opinion, what are some of the videos I should cover? What pisses you off the most? I know they exploit their kids and they have the short jokes. Um, and some people were saying, you know, it's very uncomfy how she features her daughter and the jokes that she does around her and featuring her. I recommend looking into that and I will, right? Yes, it's like her daughter is the butt of the joke and we just saw her smashing her daughter in the face with something that could have really hurt her, okay? That's a toddler that you're hitting in the eye with a sticky toy. I just don't do that. Right? Abby Herbert is all, I don't even know anything about her. And I'm already getting the skeebies from her. I'm just like, ugh. like, probably has zero friends. That's what I'm saying. She is a zero friender. No friends because nobody wants to be around her because she's, I, I, and I don't even know anything. I could be wrong. But just my gut is telling me she's self serving, selfish, narcissistic, and douchey. Right? Probably shops at Target way too much. Their vlogs are stupid, but all her TikToks are pranks slash jokes towards her husband or toddler. Her toddler's just trying to live life and she's doing stupid things to her to get reactions, create attitude and promote a tantrum, or to be continually pushed away on camera when they need comforting, claiming they're an annoyance. Then Abby's thing is to have over-exaggerated facial responses because she's a model, oh, she's a model, okay, um, and thinks people like her face, and she wonders why her toddler prefers its dad. In the vlogs, I think she talks about the toddler's attitude and tantrums, but it's like she eggs on that behavior for clout and wonders why it's happening. Yeah, that's, she's making shit up so she can create content out of it they all do that everybody they all do that they think it's their personality now either she's super tall 
or he's just super short. But she uses that because it's part of their personality, right? I posted in this group before about the fact that her daughter needs glasses to strengthen her eyes. If you skim through her videos, she's never wearing glasses. She's doing her child a disservice of not encouraging her to wear her glasses. It's almost as if glasses ruin the aesthetic, so she would rather go without them or just too lazy to make sure she's wearing them. Now, from reading just some of these things, it already is very telling to me that clearly this woman is not a very good mother either, right? Is And it's so easy to pinpoint that these people are bad mothers and bad parents, right? Because, hear me out, they all do content for a living, meaning they are looking for the next big thing to put on the internet to go viral with, whether that hurts your kid or make fun of your husband or whatever the case may be. They can't be good parents. They are super negligent because to do what these people do to the degree that they do it in, it takes them so much time. It's not hard, but it takes them time right? And uh, uh, just scrolling through the snark forum, she loves to call out her haters, which is like, if you want to grow your snark forum, that's how you do it. That's how I did it, right? If you go to my snark forum, it's hilarious because they have people posting every video and everything I post, and all it does is give me views. A healthy snark forum is good, okay? If you don't have a healthy snark forum, you're not making a difference, understand? So she does that. If you ever go after people in your snark form or whatever, right? Be prepared to have it grow because that's their weird way of engaging with you. They know that you're paying attention, then they're going to go there to make fun of you. So you read it, right? And it's hilarious because people are hilarious. The leader of my snark forum, okay, has a post on Reddit. I am kid you not. I'm, I'm, trigger warning, okay? Little SCX talk put a butt plug in her butt and it got stuck up there in her butt. I wish I could read it to you. Can I read it to you? I'm going to read it to you. It's so funny. So I'm not going to show you who sent me the email or anything, but this is what she said. Her name is context typical, right? She runs my, she runs my snork for him. <laughs> this was two years ago. So com commented on what is something you use as an S toy, but it's not an S toy. To be fair, I once lost a butt plug up my butt. It was steel and flared. The whole thing went on my A during S and I had no idea. She had no idea. The more I dug in... <laughs> oh my gosh, hold on. The more I dug in, the further up it got. I sat on the toilet and <laughs> sobbed. <laughs> I tried to get it out some more and eventually thought I'd have to go to the ER. I began practicing how to say it when I... I eventually relaxed enough to push it further down and then the hook then hook the flare part with my finger and pull it all out. It was like two years ago and I haven't had any butt place since. This is the quality of person that runs my snark forum. That is hilarious, right? What you put online stays there forever. So thanks for running my forum and thanks for bringing me some views. I appreciate you guys. Um, so yeah, that's what Abby does. So she she eggs that on. She knows how, to, how this all works, right? I don't know a ton about her, like personally, is she a supermodel or whatever? I don't know, or you know, it used to be a model or something like that. Um, but let's take a look at their channel because that's what we always do. Got to go to their channel. Abby Flirtbert. Okay, so here's the Herberts. Oh my gosh, it has been a. And if you go to their channel, they've been around since 2015, and they have 2.2 billion views on YouTube. Billion. This one's called the Herberts. Right. And so they have things like the podcast Though we're going to snark on a, a Q and a that they did. Cause that's, I love doing those ones. I haven't seen anything. So I look for Q and a's because those are the ones that are really, really telling about them. Okay. And if you go to their most popular videos, I guarantee you right now, I haven't even done this yet. It's going to be something about pregnancy, right? Or babies being born or something like that. Gender reveals something. And in their top 10 videos, likely going to exist a bunch of them, okay? So if you're funny and everything else, right, and you're good and all that stuff at things, then your top videos should probably not be about your kids, right? So let's click it. Oh my gosh, I'm right. I'm always right. All right, here it is. Our gender reveal, the Herberts, 4.4 million. Finding out I'm pregnant, 4.3 million. Our official gender reveal, number two, 3 million. She's here, baby's born. Uh, 2.4 million. Finding out I'm pregnant. 2.1 million. It's unexpected baby news. 1.9 million. He's here. 1.8 million. Then the video I'm going to snark on, asking my husband juicy questions. 1.7 million. And then it's, again, telling my husband I'm pregnant. All their top, almost top 20 videos, 90% of them are about being pregnant or having a baby. Now, what does that tell you about them? It tells you that they're probably shitty. 
It tells you they're not funny. It tells you they have no original thoughts. And any video they probably do, they probably steal from other creators, just like all the rest. She's a thirst trap, obviously. And her husband, especially in this video, two years ago, looks like he's literally eight years old, okay? What is it about family vloggers and their husbands looking like teenagers? Is that a thing? It's really weird. If you don't have ball hair, don't make family vlogs. How about that, all right? Anyway, so that's, again, without even looking, I knew that that was gonna be it, right? These people have exploited their children to the tune of tens and tens of millions of views, which equals hundreds, if not millions of dollars. They've made millions of dollars. If, the two, if you have over two billion views on YouTube, I guarantee you, you have made well over two to six million dollars or even more. Okay, maybe 10 to 12 million. They've made a lot of money and they continue to do it. And if they didn't put their kids on the internet, they wouldn't be big anymore. Because if you go to their latest videos, they've got 2.6 million subscribers, which is a ton, 560 videos. And we made a big change with the house, 84,000 views. Parents weekend at the music festival, who wears the pants? 9,000 views. They have 2 million subscribers. Okay, who Josh eats his boogers, right? 12,000 views. Super secret special guest, 18,000 views. The fear of flying, blah, blah. So if you look down, and then the next biggest one is Josh naked in the thing saying he's in a bathtub, 67,000 views, okay? Nobody wants, and then the, one, the next biggest one is Abby is in so much pain, mastitis, one month postpartum, 177,000 views. They don't get any views unless they feature their children. Life with two kids, house update, 225,000 views. When they are featured in the video, they get almost nothing. When they talk about kids or the kids are featured or something like that with birth, tons, like this. Why am I choosing to have a C-section? Almost 200,000 views. Okay? Nobody wants to hear their podcast because they're shit. These people are shit balls. Okay? Let's head over to the social blade. I get more views on my videos and I don't even have, I have 185,000 subscribers. They have 2.6 million, which means that they've already faded out. People don't want to see the shit, but babies are always lucrative. So it sounds like to me, and if I went back, let's do it again, I'll go back, sorry. It sounds to me like if you went to their videos and you look by their latest, let's see when their shit started collapsing and then when baby came. Yeah, so it looks like about two years ago, they were up in the 500,000, 1 million, 300,000. Nothing is under 100,000. Nothing, nothing. When they first started, looks like three years ago, which means they probably just deleted everything before that. She did my TikTok makeup routine. Like she's, get ready with me how I started modeling. I'm sure we're going to watch that. She's got Micah Stoffer vibes is what I'm trying to tell you, right? The Herbert family Q&A secrets revealed 256,000. Now, likely they had a ton on here before they just deleted it all, right? And then as you go up, they get 260,000. Here's one with 640,000. They're doing pretty good two years ago, right? Boom, 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 right? Then one has 53,000. Vlog fail date, right? Fine, and then boom, finding out I'm pregnant, 4.3 million views. Then we're having a baby, 300, and then it just jumped again. Then if you go up, once the baby's born and things die off, things go down, and then when a new baby comes, boom, explodes. And I guarantee you, they're gonna be having another baby after this new one they just had, because that's the only way they're gonna get money. They suck balls. And so people are like, yeah, I only wanna see the baby shit. Not baby shit, but baby content, you know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to see baby shit. Okay, 2.67, they've got an A minus rating, which means that they still make bank. They are very, very highly rated. That's very rare where you see an A minus rating, okay, even A. Anything in the A is crazy. But again, 2.2 billion views, they've made so much money, it's insane, okay? But they are down 25% in subscribers in the last 30 days, and they are growing. So there's not there's not been a, a demonetization, there's not been a, a, a loss, but they're growing very, very, very slowly. For people who have 10, 2 billion views, they're growing pretty slowly. They're gaining 60,000 in the past 30 days that's not terrible right but their video views aren't they have 160 116 million views okay and what social blade thinks is that's between 29,000 and 467 thousand dollars but it's not the truth because their shorts don't make them a lot of money and that's where they make their bread and butter their shorts make them all their views as you can see here almost a million 300,000 759,000 1.9 million in the past month Okay, they've got, let's just go for the right to the month. So one month ago, 67,000, 17,000, 13,000, 18,000. They've maybe made, it doesn't even look like it's over 200,000 views. That's crazy. So they're not making a ton of money on YouTube, but they their billions of views likely come from all of their shorts. They have made millions, but not tens of millions. Now I gotta correct myself because it's all shorts and shorts don't make you a ton. Shorts make you a little bit for sure, but not a ton. So, 
All that to say, they've got 116 million views. They're pretty at their peak. They're at their peak. If not, they've they've reached their peak and they're they're going down. Their weekly subscribers peaked back here at 166,000 subscribers. Now they're down here and they're ebbing and flowing. Okay, and their videos. This is their daily video views gained. They're kind of peaking and they're in a valley right now. Okay, which is still crazy. Six million video views a day. That's crazy. But if you look at their daily subscribers gain, boom, right? It's just, it's just, it's steady. It's nothing crazy and they keep trying to go viral so they can relive that stuff and get that money back. So when you look at stuff like this, their content isn't collapsing. They're still doing really good and they're probably pretty big on TikTok. I've never even seen their TikTok. Holy shit, 15 million followers on TikTok. Damn, girl. And she's with underscore talent. Hyph, and you got to put quotations around talent because... If you just get by and thinking that you're good looking, that's it, you're going to lose because that's not talent. That shit's going to fade real quick. Filters will only do so much. Okay, so all that thing to say is that I absolutely now know that the kids are what bring people to content. Abby is a douche and so is Josh. Damn, his name is Josh. These people are douchebags because their content sucks balls. And the only proof you need is to watch what gets the most saves and likes. And it's going to be the shit with the kids, right? I mean, does, does TikTok still allow you to see views, right? Okay, look. When a kid's in the video, 3 million views. Kids in the video, 1.3 million, right? 1.3 million, kid by the pool. Oh my F and G, she didn't kid. Man, she gets way too many lip fillers too. Like, it's chill, okay? You look like one of those fish. You know the fish? Okay. How tall is Jack? Hey, can you touch the bottom of the pool? What was that? Can you touch the bottom of the pool? Yeah, it's only five foot. Let me see. Oh my God. <laughs> no, no, not on the left. People are stupid and I hate them already. It's the bottom. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I can stand. You can? Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> okay, it's not five feet. You're dumb. Does this guy gonna live with this for the rest of like she's gonna be the butt of her joke for the rest of the marriage? So what that probably tells me that inside the actual marriage, obviously he's a beta, which again, not a big deal. Whatever, right? But likely harbors a lot of resentment in there for being the butt of the joke all the time. Because you can only be with a narcissist for so long before you're like, oh my god. Right? Just uh this guy likely doesn't like her, and I don't know, but we're gonna watch this video, and I'm gonna let my gut do the talking. Cool? Let's watch it. Hi, Hi guys. Nope, already hate it. Already hate it. Holy shiny. The Herbert fam here. We're here for everyone. Again, these millionaire assholes can't get a microphone. None of you, none of you can get a microphone. None? Are you all in the same group chat? Hey guys, let's make our audio sound like absolute and utter shit. Cool, yeah, emojis and shit. Come on. For everyone. Um, okay, so we are like overwhelmed and can like. not believe how many subscribers we got over this weekend. I love all my Team Abby um, people out there trying to give me- I'm sure you love all your Team Abby people. I love all the people who like me, <laughs> right? When you, right, I know. Team Josh, who has to sit on a pillow and he's next to me though. Look, if you guys are gonna make short jokes, I'm allowed to do it too, right? Okay, his neck is longer than his legs. That's weird. The, the ratio's off. Our shit's collapsing because we're really boring, and my chin is really sharp. And so let's get a baby. <laughs> this guy would get his ass kicked at T-ball by five-year-olds, and that's just—it's sad. But you would. What the hell song is this? Excuse me? What was that? I'm doing that again. What key is that in? Oh my god, is that him singing? Is that him singing? Guys, this is gonna be a fun family to snark on. What key is this in? Josh Herbert is short and probably still sucks his thumb. Abby is tall, but she's super damn dumb. There's your new one. Is that him singing? Is he like a worship leader? Did they go to church? I don't know anything yet. We're gonna find out though. The Herbert. The Herbert. The Herbert. You gotta say it that way. The Herbert. The shitbirds. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. But anywho, we'll skip <laughs> that part. We are so excited to have you all here, and we thought we would do a fun little. Um, oh, she is Micah Stoffer, a hundo. Is she gonna do this the whole time? Because I'm be like, look at this guy's face. That's me right now. 
This guy's, I don't even know them, 110% done with her shit. This guy's so tired of sitting on those theater things you have to sit on to see the movie properly. Sit down, chat with you guys, where I'm gonna ask Josh the juiciest questions that girls are afraid to ask their partners or their boyfriends. <laughs> so Maybe he's good at basketball. <laughs> no, sorry, it's not true. Bowling? He's probably good at something. Hide and seek? Can hide in a dryer and shit? <laughs> oh, um, Let's go. Are you excited? Extremely. Does he look excited? So, if you're wondering, where did Abby get all these juicy questions? I got them from my Instagram, from you guys. Um, if I mean, you're not following us on Instagram, we're going to put our handles right. No, don't. And I literally have so many questions. Hey, the So I'm not going to be able to get to everyone's, but I mean, I'm still scrolling. So many questions. Oh, You're a scroll, a scroll. I hope you scroll down a well and are lost in a desert somewhere or a rainforest and mosquitoes bite your ass. I hope the biggest mosquito bites your ass. Okay, and you're itchy for like three days and you scratch it so much as a scab and then you look like you have acids. Abby Herbert definitely has acids though, right? <laughs> There's so many questions. So I think we're just gonna... Jump on into it, right? And here? He totally could jump on into it, like a little bucket. Or this cup here. Josh, like, hey, everybody. She doesn't even, like, she probably just puts one of those kid backpacks on when they go around. He just sits in the backpack. He definitely gets in the shopping cart when they go to Target. Just, yeah. I'm saying, if he made the job, I'm allowed to do it, too. We go. That name was going to Hey, hey, don't eat my croc. Remember. Of course you have crocs. He also has crocs. Makes sense. It does make sense. These are juicy. Oh my god, just get a question! Asshole! Questions oh boy. that you would not ask. Why are your eyebrows like that? Is that a thing? Is that an aesthetic? Is you look like Groucho Marx. Relax, eyebrows. My friend. Where's his eyebrows? Okay. Our partner. So the first one, I'm gonna like to say because made me giggle. What does a pad stick on to? Is this, why is this a juicy question you're afraid to ask your husband? Why are you afraid to ask your husband this question? And why would you ask your husband this question? Why does he need to know? But it's stupid anyway. It sticks under your underwear. But that's stupid. If he doesn't know that, they're fake and lying. And then the acoustic music's pissing me off in the background. A pad? Yeah. Uh, your underwear? Yeah, yeah, I can get it. Yeah. <laughs> that's a juicy question. F off. <laughs> All right, one for one. There we go. Okay. Um, all right, so next question is, does acne on your face, back, or chest matter? She has butt zits, so it does matter. I would say no. I mean, if we get a little... What do you mean it doesn't matter? What kind of question is this? A little close up here, um, you know. Well, it's because you're going through puberty, buddy. Your balls will drop and your voice will change. Things will happen. It's natural. You really just need to just go with it. You start getting really horny, though. Weird, taking long showers, right? You know what I'm saying? Your hair will start sprouting. You're becoming a man. Proud of you, dude. Proud of you. I got acne. It's real. I got acne. It's real. A lot of people have it. Um, That's a juicy uh, question. Had, what? I, acne. Um, I, I think, too, I mean, um, I've had acne forever. I mean, I've been battling it pretty much my whole life. Um, I don't think it's a big deal. I think if you really like the person, you like the person. It's not going to you know, change anything. No. What? What the f- Did she just say good question? What? Who are these people? What the f- What am I watching? What am I watching? Are you always honest with your wife? No. Like, look at him. The guy's literally sitting on a pillow right now. Ooh. All right. Um, I need a drink for this. Yeah. Uh, Chick-fil-A. Um, they're, they're Christians. I would say yes. You're not. Stop. You just fucking lie, dude. You're a liar. Everybody lies at some point. Such a liar. And if I'm not, it's a little like... So the answer is yes, I lie to my wife, even if it's little things. It lies, like nothing crazy. It's like, you know... I mean, wife, Am I funny? You're totally funny. <laughs> Call the police. He lies to you about everything because you are the beta or you're the alpha here and he just got to walk on eggshells. He doesn't want to piss you off. He lies about everything, Abby. Everything, I promise you. Okay? He lies about everything. 
Yourself. <laughs> you killed yourself. Oh, oh, oh boy. Um, you never lied to me. I. I don't like her. I honestly. I don't follow them a lot. There are my social medias here and there. I honestly thought that she would be smarter. I, I had that maybe because she's, I don't know if she's brunette and that's just like a thing, but she's actually like empty. Like she's like one of those valley, you know what I mean? Mean girl type things. I don't know how to explain it. She's just like, I, I don't like her. I don't like her. Can't lie. What lies are bro? You know, like if you're ever like, um, hey, did you clean the house? Like if she's somewhere else and, you know, oh, I said yeah. I'm going to do something. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I cleaned the house. And meanwhile, I didn't even like start. Is she texting you? Did you clean the house? Okay. This guy, man, blink twice if you're in danger. And I figured out by the time she gets home, like I'll have a clean. You blink twice. Get to it. Stuff like that. Okay, so that like yeah, no, it's bigger than that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a family vlogger that hasn't gone through some type of shit. Not real lies. No, I, I think uh, integrity is a uh, great virtue to have, and I stand by that. <laughs> but he's dead really short, so. Just saying. Burn. Okay, next question. These aren't juicy, these are shit. These are shit questions. What was, <laughs> what was the first thing you liked about Abby? Her sharp chin. It could cut through steak. I mean, during a zombie apocalypse, if you run out of sharp objects, you can stab them with her chin. Um, I know this. Her laugh. Uh. Um, I didn't even... I she doesn't even believe you, dude. She doesn't even believe you. I heard her laugh from, like, I was right outside the room um, when we first met, and I heard her laugh, and I didn't even see her yet, and honestly, God, it was like, I've heard that laugh. That's such this guy. Guys, uh, ladies, I'm sorry. Never the case. It's never the case. Okay? Maybe you heard a laugh and then came in. How do you know it was her? <laughs> Could have been the other friend. You know what I'm saying? The other friend? Just saying. He's a damned liar. I liked her ass is what he meant to say. She has an ass. And I looked at the ass and said, there's an ass. That's what he liked about her. Before, and it was just like, as soon as I heard her laugh, it was like very um, familiar to me. He's... I think he's mispronouncing ass. And uh, even though it's the craziest laugh ever, it is. is it's it? different. <laughs> Stop. It's like a very. <laughs> like, it's different every time. Like sometimes I can't breathe. Some. I think they just farted. <laughs> sometimes I can't breathe. Sometimes I'm loud and crazy. <laughs> is that her watch? That's her dryer. <laughs> That's our washer. I'll be right back. All right, sorry, I'm back. Our washing machine was making some crazy noises. You got dirt on your shirt. Also, you don't know how to fix anything, so stop. Probably just turn it off. Now you're going to call the Maytag guy. Josh is doing the laundry. See? I said it, right? Here, we're getting a little juice. Josh does the laundry because Josh has to do the laundry or Josh gets the belt. Here. What do you do when Abby has her period? Oh, my God. Why do they all do this? Oh, yeah, Spider-Man shirt, right? It's cool. What do you mean, what do you do? You don't do anything. Run. <laughs> <laughs> Stereotype. <laughs> no. no, I'm just kidding. No, I just, no, you're not kidding. I keep my distance. She's, she gets uh, kind of aggressive during uh, that time, so I... What? Try to be a little bit more patient, and... Uh, These people are the worst effing liars ever, and they're both wearing white. She has a hole in her armpit of her shirt. Understanding. And okay. a lot of chocolate. Yes. Yes. No, you don't. Does that girl look like she's chocolate? Yes. Uh, he doesn't get you chocolate. Okay, he probably goes golfing with his friend that he has. One friend. Probably has one friend. Because I'm always craving chocolate. There you go. Have you ever been a player? <laughs> He's five foot three. So the answer would be no. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're such a liar. <laughs> no, um, no, no, I went to church. Um, I actually haven't. College, I just kind of had some friends. I didn't really date anybody. They couldn't see you, so. You're at a party, and like, the place is packed, and you're looking around for hot dudes and everything, and you're looking around, and you're cool. There's some hot dudes over there. But you, every time you turn your head, the guy could be standing right next to you, and you're like, you didn't see him. So he probably wanted to be a player. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're just coming naturally to me. Just saying. So, 
Hard to be a player when you look like you're like one of those kids who just went to college. He's like 12 or 13. You're like, he must be like Mensa smart, right? There's a kid who graduated college here, I think, locally, who is 12, right? So that's probably, they think you're like a Doogie Hauser. Like, yeah, he's cute. He's nice. He's probably here because he's special. Yeah, that's a nice guy. He probably shouldn't be drinking, though. In particular, but I wouldn't consider myself a player. I was pretty, you know, stay, stay in my own little realm doing music. That's a good idea. So he's a musician. And that's the music that he did? Is this the music that we're hearing in the background here? I need to know, does this guy have any music out there? For real. I'm a musician. I'm not saying I'm the best. But if that is any indication of the music he writes, holy shit, I need to hear it all. <laughs> what is one thing that Abby does that annoys you? Do you notice that the questions are juicy that he won't answer them honestly? Because she would freak. Oh, by the way, I love you guys. What is the one thing Abby does that annoys you? So... Ab Everything. B has a tendency that was cool. to make f sh 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 to make fun of me in my short legs. Hey, you jumped on that quick. Yeah. That's because you're married, and if you don't know what annoys you the most about your spouse, then are you really married? Okay. When she and she knows she talks, when she breathes, when she looks at you, when she comes to bed, when she when she skips her up, when she beats you at basketball, she spikes the ball over your head when you're playing beach volleyball, when she hits too big of a curb. With the stroller that you're in. Does it? Her vocal level goes up like this. Oh. And I can't. Just oh, I'm sorry, Nate. We're just doing a video. And yeah, she sounds real cool. And uh, I can't take it. That's one thing that just makes my skin crawl. I'm very. It's not, you're using the wrong thing. Skin crawls like a scary thing. What, what it does is it makes you angry. Okay. You hate it, and she still does it because she don't give a shit about you. Loud. I don't like high yelling frequency. frequencies like that. You know, it's got to be docile here, so that would. Mm -hmm. It's got to be docile. Be the number one. She's staring at herself in the the camera lens. This is Micah Stoffer. This is literally Micah Stoffer's twin sister. This is these people are gonna be fun to snark on, right? Holy shit, we found a new amazing. Snarkable couple. I love it. Yeah. So I tone it down. But sometimes I do it on purpose because I know it's going to make him mad. So when mm, he makes sounds me healthy. mad, I just get louder. So mm. it doesn't work out. No. Yeah. And then he goes in the kennel. He's grounded. First impression. You know, when most husbands they get in trouble in the doghouse, he actually has to go into the kennel because he fits there. Impression of me and my family. Oh. Uh, oh, they're totally weird. Um, well, mom and dad, if you're watching. <laughs> Is it weird? Am I the only one who does it? Like, I don't know. I could be wrong because it depends on the relationship with your in-laws. But do you guys call your in-laws mom and dad? Is that a thing that people do? I've always found that weird and I could be wrong about it. I don't, I would never, but I'm just saying I always found that weird. I have a mom and a I'm mom. <laughs> Most people have moms and dads, right? And you call your mom and dad. But if you have two mom dads, that's weird. What if you had a big thing and everybody's there and you say mom, dad, and they both look over and they're like, which one? Okay. That's weird. Uh, no, it was very nice. I remember being... Uh, uh, this is a juicy question? Uh, a bit nervous. You know, you're going to meet the family and you want to make a good impression. Um, but it was just super relaxed. <laughs> Sorry. I'm doing it. He brings him home. Who's your friend here? Is he delivering newspapers? <laughs> Are you babysitting? Did he come over to shovel the driveway? Young man, yeah, here's $20. Abby, you really like the young ones, eh? Thing, um, her parents are very welcoming. I had met her mom once uh, previously, but I had never met her sister or her dad. Um, they were just super accepting the conversation. Accepting of what? Your shortness? I don't understand. Accepting of what? Generally, when they're accepting of something, it's because some, you have an ailment or a huge zit or you're a dink. I don't know. What are they accepting of? was just great and uh we really hit it off and you know put me at ease and yeah. oh my god are you related to michael j fox pretty chill my family's really really chill yeah. yes i doubt it give me the juice yeah get the juicy shit i think this is more of an advice question but i uh, i think it yeah. should be out there so what if you want to wait until marriage but he isn't a virgin and he pressures you so they're 100 <laughs> 100% Christians, and there's my pause screen for Abby for this one. Uh, what? What if you want to have wait until marriage, but he isn't a virgin and he pressures you? Wait, the girl wants to wait till marriage and yes, he doesn't. And he doesn't. 
Um, she should probably get rid of him then. Yeah. If he doesn't respect how you feel and your your wishes, um, you you want to find someone who respects you at the end of the day. But you are these teenagers asking these questions? It's weird. You can tell him goodbye. Bye. What is the most disgusting thing you've done in public? Probably poop my pants. <laughs> you, you shit your pants? I mean, we all have. You know, you trusted a fart you shouldn't trust it. I get it. But he's lower to the ground, so the poop doesn't have trouble. <laughs> I'm not happy about it. How old are you? 17. <laughs> you shit your pants when you're 17, bro, man. Jeez. Chill and Taco Bell. Do you want to tell the story or no? No. Thanks. Makeup or no makeup? I don't have um, any makeup on right now. Yeah, we know. And you don't have any fillers in now either. This is pre-filler, pre-everything. I think this is two years ago or something like that. So now she's come along. I don't understand family vloggers, especially like, again, we can all see that they're both quite attractive people, right? They're attractive. I'm not saying that they're not, right? But why, if you're attractive, do you fill your face full of shit when you don't need to? I don't get that. It's almost like a badge of honor when they're like, look at my lips. They're the size of balloons now. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. I wish the world wasn't like that. Yeah, honestly, um, Abby, I just think she's a natural beauty. So then she got failures two years later, though. Um, so without makeup, um, you know, I prefer her, but, you know, she looks she's absolutely wearing some shit there. So don't give me that bullshit. She's wearing something. Nobody has a shiny face like that naturally. She's got some shit on. It's gorgeous when she puts a little bit of makeup on and, you know, we go out on, on the town. So I like do you go in the town, Chuck E. Cheese and shit like that and go to the ball pit? This guy gets the discount at movie theaters. He's like, oh, you're minor. It's only $6. I really rarely wear makeup, but I also do like doing like full glam and full makeup. So here we go. Uh, okay. Do boys feel butterflies in their stomach like girls do? Okay, these are questions from children. Why are you doing a juicy Q&A with sex questions with kids asking questions like this? What the hell? Yeah. Did you get butterflies? For sure. Yep. Did you? But he's so small that they fly away. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna keep going. Wow, these are really good answers! <laughs> Did you just show her his wiener? How much do you guys actually know of periods? Oh my god. They are questions from teenagers and children. What the F? And why are strangers asking questions about periods? What the frig? Thoughts on it. How much, what? How much do guys, I think it meant to say, how much do guys know about periods? How much do you actually know about, like, getting a period? How much do I know? <coughs> oh, jeez. Oh. Goodness. Your shirt's dirty. <laughs> yeah, how much do you know? Um, I mean, I know, uh... You don't know. A little bit. I don't know all the bodily functions that are going on. Um, you don't? Did you go to biology in grade seven? You don't know how a period works? Are you serious? Okay. I grew up with two sisters, so. Um, so you grew up with two sisters and you still don't know? That's bullshit lie. You know, pretty familiar with the timing and everything like that, but. Um, wow. To the extent of this it. is so juicy and questions and. I'll never get this time back. Okay. Herbert's, Herbert's, F you. Okay, I'll never get this back. What's going on there? I know the basics. Does height matter? Clearly not. Yes. No. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot taller than Adam, so, you know. There we go, he can't hear it. I think, um, like, I, I what are your tattoos? They're just weird, it's like you. Were you in the Navy in the 30s or something? What is the shitty tattoos? That's weird. I don't think height matters. Um, Clearly, I you're short. I think it's. She's like, uh, she's just staring at herself. Uh, honestly, I think a, right I think here. a lot of girls. Um, yeah, I might might just be projecting this, but this has been my experience because um, I am of the shorter stature of gentlemen. How short is he? It doesn't. Maybe she's just really tall. Is he like what five, five six, five seven? It's not that short, is it? I'm five eleven, so I'm an average height guy. I think five ten and a half. Sorry, I'm an average height guy. Is it really that much shorter of the guys that like I don't get it. I don't understand this whole conversation in this world right now that girls are like, if he's not over six, I wouldn't even date. Like, okay. Like you ever seen the meme? It's like, hey, what's your height? And he's like, what's your weight? And she's like, how dare you? He's like, well, you're asking me that. I need to know that. Right? What's the what's the hold up? I don't understand the diff what who cares? Um, I think 
uh, a lot of girls, they see a guy who might be shorter, he might be attracted, attractive to them, uh, but they might just be like, oh, he's too short, and just totally cut out, this guy's funny, he's charming, he's sweet, so I think it- Did you just say that you're all those things? Because I promise you, from what I've seen so far, that's, that's a big old no. A lot of girls who do that are losing out because- That's what I did to you. You did, and then, uh, you know- I friend zoned him yeah. really hard. Oh, and that's nice. Because he was short, or what? And, uh, I, what are you saying right now? Short guys, man. We got a lot going on. And he was so nice and so sweet, and I was just like, mm. she has stains on her shirt. It's bugging me. He's short, even though he was like the nicest human being ever on the planet of Earth. Oh, what are you saying? Though. What are you saying right now? So you didn't like him at the beginning because he was short, and now you do, and that's so. You, what did you settle, and now you make fun of him for a living? I don't get what's happening right now. Uh, the first time she came over. <laughs> so the first time I came over. Um, so I, was, I, was a bit I bumped my head on the door because this house is like a hobbit house <laughs> built for his size. Insecure. Okay, so a little backstory. We we met okay. and then didn't see each other contact in two and a half years because we lived in different states. We were, we were playing hide and seek and he went and I still <laughs> didn't find him for two years. He was in my shoe. He's a champion. And different things. And then... Finally, after two years, I like reached out to him. I was like, hey, like, what? how are you? I know, like, we met and just want to see what? how things are going. And we. Sorry, what? <laughs> I friend zoned him because he was too short. Two years later, hey, like, we met? Do you remember we met? What are you saying right now? What? Went on, or we like hit it off and text messaging, and I was like, hey, you know what? Do you want to go on a date again? And he's like, yeah, sure. Again? So our first date, he was just like, why don't you just come up? It's, uh, I don't know anything about this, but this is what I'm hearing. They went on a date. She short, she shorted him. I said shorted him. <laughs> Ghosted him. We can call it shorted. That's fine. Because he's too short, right? And then went through a bunch of guys who were a bunch of dingleberries and assholes, and then said, that was the guy. I don't want bad guys anymore. I want short kings. <laughs> who are nice and I can walk all over. That's what I need. That's what I'm hearing. Up to my house, because we lived about an hour away from each other. So I come up to my house with like order dinner and blah, 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 blah. And what, 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 blah, 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 what do you mean blah, 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 blah? What, what's blah, 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 blah? And as soon as I walk in, like I kind of remembered he was shorter, but as soon as I walked in, I looked down and he has <laughs> this little high heeled like, yeah. He's wearing high heels? Cowboy boots on. I mean, they had heels on. Cowboy boots. I'm thinking, why does he have shoes on in his house? And there's carpet. He was like walking on the carpet in his cowboy boots. And I think, it because you knew I was tall. So, um. I just want to make a good first impression. But That's good. Good first impression is to lie. Right? So when you take your boots off and you're three inches shorter, she's like, well, that's, you lied to me. I get it. Same thing with all the other filters and shit that you see on these, I guess. I, I, I get it. It's a double standard not to do that. It was funny. Moral of the I'll story. I'll never forget it. This matter. doesn't matter. No. Well, clearly it did. There's so much shit that she just left out of that story. Height did matter, and she admitted that it did. So, and then all you talk about now is height. So clearly it matters, dude. And he's just being like, it doesn't. You, you're lying to yourself, bro. And I know you are, and that's fine. You're lying to yourself. Height absolutely matters because it's all you can talk about because i met him and we instantly connected you're lying lie number one lots of lies but there's a lie you met him and you instantly connected then you ghosted him for two years you shorted him okay and what we date we went on like three dates and then started dating and then i moved in like it okay so you lied you're a liar it was just all very natural and we just if there's a really connection bonded. there's a connection mm-hmm Sage advice from the short king. Juicy. Okay. Him, he's closer to connections like plugs, so he can plug him in faster than most people. That's a benefit. Guy can fit behind TVs and shit to fix things. He fits in tighter areas. It's just there are many benefits to being short. Okay, like uh, That's all I can think of. <laughs> you look at other girls while you're out in public with your wife. Yes. Yes, you do. And girls look at other boys when you're out in public with your husband. Don't lie. 
Yes. Don't to lie. To be honest, I'm the one that goes, oh my God, look at that girl's butt. Oh my God, look at that girl. She's beautiful. Like, I... Do you? Like, yeah, no. Like, Such a liar. It's like, yeah, no, I'm totally looking. I'm taking a picture of my phone. <laughs> yeah, no, it's gross. Don't say that. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> liar. modeling and like constantly being surrounded by like beautiful women, I just notice them and I... I don't know. I just, I just feel like I'm all. I'm the one that's like, oh my god, that girl's so beautiful. Oh my god, that girl's pretty. She oh my god, like makes she, me look. She should be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The model, like, do you think I should give her? Like, sometimes I do some scouting stuff with my local agency. So I'm like, do you think I should get that girl a model card? Like, I'm not. <laughs> She's lying right now, right? A model card? Is that a thing? I mean, I've never received one, so clearly can't be a thing. <laughs> Why have I not received my model? Hot. Holy Even shit. I, this is awesome, man. Holy shit. If Josh said it first, I would not be offended. I'd be like, oh, wow, she's beautiful or something. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you would. No, I do not look. No. You're such a liar, asshole. Stop lying. Are you not a human being or something? Okay, cool. Okay, this is a good one. Okay. Do you think boob size matters? Clearly not. <laughs> Sorry. My face red. Woo! I mean, why do they keep asking these questions? Do you think short height matters? No, because I'm short as hand. Do you think boob size matters? No, because she doesn't have any. So obviously it doesn't, or he would not be with this one. I have bigger boobs than her. He has bigger boobs than her. You're not flat chested. I don't think that was really awkward. I mean that. Whoa! She just had this moment where she said that, and he's like, "No, you're not." And then she went like full on depressed mode face. That's weird, right? Because I'm flat chested, right? <laughs> Okay, this girl is just looking like, you know that if he doesn't give her compliments, she fishes for the compliments. This is Micah Stauffer, everybody. I'm having freaking flashbacks, PTSD. Some guys. I guess it's a preference. Yeah, I think it's a preference thing. Um, but it absolutely is a preference thing. If you're a girl watching this, your boob size does not matter. Um, I was always been more in the flat chest. So they said it doesn't matter because she has small boobs. But if that's your preference, then it does matter. If you like small chested girls, that's a preference. So the answer is yes, it does matter. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. Just inside and it is what it is. Like, I wouldn't, uh, not, you know, if, I think if you're insecure about something like that, I wouldn't even worry about it because the person that you find and that you find, you know, who you're gonna love or- you Can always get bigger ones later. Everybody else does in the family vlogging world. Loves you, is gonna love you for much more than just your physical attributes. Mm -hmm. Who was the girl that you had a crush on before Abby? <sighs> These are seven-year-old questions from seven-year-olds. Maybe you should have just said, hey, only adults can ask questions. Gosh, there's so many. <laughs> Probably was. Laugh <laughs> 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 track. Celebrity? Three. Say a celebrity. Don't say someone like my sister or something. Don't say that. Say a celebrity. Like your celebrity crush? Uh, celebrity crush. Mm. Yeah, I know. That's not the question. That's not the effing question. But she's changing it because she doesn't want him to say... The girl that she's actually thinking of right now, she knows who it is too. She's thinking that in her head and she's thinking, that bitch. Ben, um, Amelia Clark, Khaleesi. Uh, Khaleesi. Who? Um, Who's that? Mother of Dragons, that's all I can say. Uh, what? Oh, from uh, Black Door. What the hell is that show called? What is that show called? Oh my gosh. The blonde girl that has the dragons. I know what he's talking about. Something that is super unattractive to a guy. Fake ass fakery. This girl is a hundo fake. Bad breath. Yeah, no, I'll give it to them. He's right. Absolutely. That's a good answer. It, it wins. Yes. Man, once I was in college. Story time. And there was this girl I had a huge crush on. I forget her name. It's like this 100 years ago, right? And I was like, didn't matter because I'm like a loser. But this girl is gorge. Okay. And I was in a worship band, I was playing music and everything. Anyway, I think she walked by the rehearsal hall one day and I was coming out and they're like, oh, your music's really good. And she came up and said hi. And I was like, holy shit, lady, did you just eat dog shit? I didn't say that. I thought it. And I'm, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. And I walked out of that place thinking, that's why she's single. I don't know if she had stones in there or because it's just crazy. It's, not, it's something you can't help sometimes. Sometimes you can get surgeries and shit to get it done. But oh my God, I almost died. My eyes were watering. I'm like, I have to go. <laughs> hey! Uh, hey, yo, punch! That's that. I mean, it's gonna be different for all guys, but for me, 
that's a that's a deal breaker. Mm-hmm. Bad breath. I can't do it. It's true, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's true. You don't have that breath. I'm just kidding. <laughs> With the mouth that big, man, could you imagine if there was bad breath coming out of there? There, holy shit, you could tear paint off cars and shit. You imagine? <laughs> I mean, be like this. <sighs> holy, your hair would fall out and shit. So, yeah, clearly she doesn't because look at that thing, man. You could fit a whole softball in there. I right? probably can eat a burger in one bite. I'm saying, you can put a fist in there and shit. A physical appearance. Somebody. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> These people are really weird. Here's a juicy question. Okay, it better be. It better be. Guys, what's the longest you've gone without eating skinny pop? Oh my God. Is that a euphemism for sex or something? What is skinny pop? Is that the popcorn from Costco? <laughs> I'd probably say maybe a week. That's a juicy question. You guys, and he's not even being funny about it. Like, <laughs> like two minutes. Just make a joke, man. They're setting you up for a joke. They're slobbing softballs at you for jokes. And you're like, I'm going to answer this honestly. Two weeks. And it was the hardest weeks of my life. Is Skinny Pop good? I would even say not even. Okay. Yeah, maybe four days. <laughs> wow, really good, really juicy ass question. Holy shit. Have you ever been cheated on? Oh, yeah. Really? Multiple times. Wow. Six. But you are multiple times. <laughs> wow. From it, and you grow from it. Do you? What is your biggest pet peeve in a female? Bad breath. <laughs> okay, he. If I was this guy, there's a joke right here. Bad breath. <laughs> pet peeve. Shiny cheeks. Peeve. Mm -hmm. Pet peeve. Pet peeve. Oh. Ew, he spit in his mouth. Uh, this guy is germaphobe, 100%. Hundo. Biggest pet peeve. I would say, like, I think we're circling back to that same question. Bad breath? But um, Bad personality, breath. if you're oh. very mean and stuck up, goodbye. Can't do oh, okay. She's a model, dude. You don't think that she's mean and stuck up? Have you seen the content you've created? You don't think that she's self-centered and stuck up? Okay. okay. I mean, you probably can't see it because when she edits, it's up here. She can't, can't see it. Juicy. That's so juicy. You know what else is juicy? I don't know. This juice here. I have orange juice. Vitamin C is important, everybody. What is the sexiest thing that Abby does? Well. He watch this guy's brain, the smoke come out of his ears. Uh. If it he had, what's the worst thing that she does? He had that answer like this. What's the sexiest thing Abby does? I mean, I don't, nothing? She's like a freaking praying mantis. I don't know, nothing? Maybe when she smells her blankie. What? That's what you're gonna say? No, I don't want them to know I have my blankie. Guess blankie show it. I cannot, like yeah, I- have to show it. Show it the damn blanket. disgusting. Let I me see it. Yeah, you can. Ew, what the F is that? What is that? That come out of the shower drain? What is that? No! That's not a blankie. Oh, Ew. Like, ugh, what the like, hell is that? Security blanket, it's my blankie. Hey, I don't mean to be rude or anything. That's not a blanket, okay? That's a bunch of string. It's like a blanket before you make the blanket. What? What is that, man? No, I just keep it right here with me at all times. That is not a blanket. My hand and in my pocket. I cannot believe you just did that. Uh, he said that was okay. So answer the question. So not first of all, he just outed her for her weird blanket fetish or whatever the shit that thing is. She can't believe he did that, and he didn't answer the question. People got enough. Juicy. Do guys prefer it when girls make the first move? You didn't answer the question, dude. Uh, I think that again, it's like a preference thing, but I think, I mean, for me personally, I think it's nice if the girl does make the first move because it's very like nerve wracking. I, I think for me, yeah. um, especially I think most guys don't know though. They're like the girl could literally be saying like, let's get married at this moment. You're like, Hey, what's up? And don't even, it's like, she's just kidding. <laughs> just, funny joke. Haha. <laughs> you gotta like, it's different. So. I'm more of the old fashioned, like, I'll do the thing. First time we kissed, I was like contemplating my head over and 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 over and
Mm-hmm. Because I'm like, does she want me to kiss her? What if I kiss her? And then her? I went in, she stabbed me with her chin, and I had to go to the hospital. It was a big thing. It was a story. We vlogged it. It was crazy. Now when we kiss, I have to do this, like, I wear a chin guard. And she doesn't like me, you know? So I think definitely if the girl makes that first move, I think it definitely breaks that that ice and, like, relieves a lot of, like, tension. Holy shit, these people are boring. That's what I'm coming That's what I'm realizing. Is all their shit like this? How on earth did they get two billion views? What the hell? Um, so yeah, I think if the girl makes the first move. Did I sure. make the first? We're kind of equally. I think it just kind of happened. You ghosted him if you called just kissing it out the first move. I went in for the kiss. Shorted him. But I didn't deny it. No. So, but I, I was. You went up for the kiss. Is what you meant to say. <laughs> Short joke. Short jokes. Contemplated like ten different times before yeah. I did it. Mm-hmm. So this yeah. is real. I, I stepped up on a stool. And we did the thing. Real juicy guys. Real okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Does Abby's fart stink? Oh so my much? god, man! Of course they do. Look at her. You tall people have longer intestines. It's science. Oh god, the worst. Depends what you eat, right? Have you ever had my farty meatballs? I'm gonna make them for a short. Damn. Okay. Damn. He's not wrong. Brutal. Well, yeah, look at you. Brutal. Probably stains the bedroom. Like, leave the room. Yeah. Brutal. I believe it. Sorry. It's that Chick fil A diet. Oh, she only eats Chick fil A. That's safe. <laughs> but they're cute. No, stinky ass farts aren't cute. That's poo particles floating into your nostrils. Nostrils. You're literally breathing in poop dust. That's not cute. Shit's poison. Pink eye and shit. Yes. They're cute. They're not cute. Jo- There's no way. How much do you love Abby? Uh, 9,000. <laughs> it's And the thing is, when you do a joke like that, it's actually truth. Like there is, when people tell jokes, right? There's actually truth in the overflow of the joke. He hates this chick, man. Hates her. Here's kind of juicy. Does body- Did you, you didn't really answer them. Be like, I love her this much. Count matter. What's that? Get wrecked, dude. You know what body count means. How many people you bang, dude, in college? Right? This guy, you know what? The benefit of living in a dorm at this size is that your bed is like a king size to everybody else. Oh my gosh. Um, He's lying. Body count, that's funny. Um, is it? I don't. I don't think so. I mean, she's like to say nothing it doesn't count. Especially if you didn't know the, you know, you didn't know the person. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's, your, that's a lie. He's lying. That's right. I don't know. I You're lying. Yeah. Do you think your girlfriend looks pretty when she's on her period? Oh my God! How many period questions are we gonna get? Get wrecked, idiots! Well, considering I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> um, she always looks pretty. Uh, yeah, that's the right answer, but that's also silly. And you had so many opportunities for jokes here. And you just failed at every turn, dude. People, unless that's just what he's like in real life. This is like one of those guys that you go out and hang out and like, everybody's telling jokes. And his jokes are just like reality things. And you're like, ah, yeah, all right, buddy. And then he never gets a call back to hang with the bros. Ever. Okay? Unless they need a fourth for something. They're like, oh my God, you're not inviting Josh, are you? That's the name, right? Josh. You're not inviting that guy, are you? We need a fourth, man. Damn it. Good answer. Good answer, dude. What's the most embarrassing moment you did in school? Shit his pants. So I remember it to this day. <laughs> um, I was in English class and it was right after lunch. <laughs> oh, I, I know what this is. <laughs> and we were popcorn reading. And for anyone who doesn't know that, it's like when you go around you know, in a circle or whatever it is in the classroom, and everyone takes a turn reading like a paragraph or something. And uh, I was reading my way through in my stomach. I don't know what I ate. Is it another shit your pants thing? But I was trying to hold this fart in, and this puppy just screamed out of me. And I was so embarrassed, and everyone, including the teacher, was like dying laughing. Because of fart, and farts are funny. And uh, the one, my one friend next to me, they're like, who was that? And like, he pointed to me, and um, mm-hmm. it was more funny than embarrassing, but it was a bit embarrassing, because I really didn't mean to fart that loud, so. Yeah, no, you guys are... So... You guys are so captivating. It's like Tara Henderson's cousins. Is this guy Tara Henderson's brother or something? No, because she's way taller. Tara Henderson tennis racket hands. 
Does she have tennis racket hands too? There's a juicy one. Juicy. No, it's not, because none of these shits have been juicy. What makes you turned on by Abby? Ah. Uh, Hmm. Now he's gonna say something because he doesn't want to answer the question actually because nothing does. Um, I think farts. Uh, I don't know. Kira. Some people like farts. Kira is one of them. Apparently, she has a fart fetish. That's weird. I know people that don't kink shame. Kink shame. Okay, bring kink shaming back. If your kink is someone farting on you, there's something wrong in your brain. Something got mixed up along the path. You need to go back. You maybe get some therapy. But that's gross. Okay, if farting is your kink, you are weird. All right? Can we all agree? High five? All right, cool. I feel like some some days we're just both in a great mood and had a great day. That's <laughs> what turns you on about your wife, that you both had a great day? What in the fresh hell, dude? This is an easy one, man. They're so easy to answer this question. And he's like, you know, when we went out to Chuck E. Cheese and I, I won a prize from the, the thing, the claw. I'm like, that turns me out about my wife. What the hell? Okay. What the hell? Okay, so I think that was a nice That's little... it. That was... None of those questions were juicy. And then the ones who even closely, remotely to being juicy, he didn't even answer them. Uh, just juicy enough. Not um, too juicy, but just enough. There was no juice. That shit was dry as crackers. She just said dry as crackers Q&A. And I think now it is time for our shout out. Oh, no. here we go. I'm so sorry if I pronounce F off. Juicy goodbye. Oh, also, we Juicy. should find your Spotify. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Hey, and if you guys don't know, um, I do music as well. Um, so we're gonna put my Spotify down in the link section below. Um, you guys can check Josh Herbert on Spotify. Let's take a look. He has 4,200 monthly listeners. That's pretty good, man. He's got a song with 413,000. No. Sorry, buddy. Look, I lived the dream too, and it failed too, but... Damn. Anyway. Well, that was fun. See the ending here? I got my music and jam to it all day long. It's fantastic. Don't say that your own music's fantastic. Don't You don't get to say that. Because it's really not. I don't say my music's fantastic. You should be your own worst critic of your music. Don't say my music's fantastic. Go watch it. No thanks. The best music you ever hear. Yeah. I'm Is that the? He finally tells a joke and it's not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. She doesn't like his music either. Not really. Um, so yeah, Thank if you God. could please uh, go down there, and check out my Spotify, and if you like the music, um, you can follow me on there. Oh my God, <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> oh. My God. I hate them. I hate them a lot. Here's okay. So here's my first impressions of them. She's actually vapid and very much space-like. <sighs> She's like a space cadet, and he's very like serious. Da -da -da. Like it, 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 there's nothing there that's he's not funny. Doesn't have any quick wit. Nothing. There's no like quirkiness. But then all their videos are just them just doing shitty pranks and oh my god, this is so bad. And I'm so glad I found it. Yeah! All right! Hey, Herberts. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Take a deep-ass Herbert breath. Okay, that's the Herbert breath. Holy shit, we're going to be doing lots of videos about these people. This is amazing. And when the scandal eventually drops and they have to do an apology video, also amazing. When the scandal eventually hits, they're going to be wearing those same white shirts and apologizing. It's going to be funny. Whatever scandal it is, because it's going to be a scandal. Or not. Because maybe they're just so boring that they won't ever have scandals. That could be another thing, too. I cannot believe people like this have as many fans as they have. It perplexes me. Because there's literally nothing endearing about them at all. Am I missing something? Is this because it's an early video? I don't know, man. Clearly, it's because the children, the babies, that got them big, right? It's not that she's a model or anything. It's the babies. Because you look at their top 20 videos, all babies. Holy shit, these people are really weird. And I'm here for it. But you know who's not weird? You're not weird. Maybe you're weird, but that's cool weird. You're awesome weird. And really cool and amazing. Incredible and valuable. Don't you damn well forget it, okay? And if you're short, that's cool too. If your husband's short, that's cool. Okay? Is it? I don't know. Whatever. I'll see you guys tomorrow.